Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Oh yeah. So Let's first of all, yeah, here, here, wait a minute. One, two, oh, three, four, five, six. Nice. Oh, I can't <laughs> even carry it all. <laughs> the wood ridges. <laughs> what was the deal with that? You lost something, didn't you? I can't even remember now. Um, I think it was the, the racing. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we raced each other, and I, you had to get six stacks of wood if you lost or something, right? Yep, 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 yep. That's Otherwise, I was going to have you assassinated. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> we were spending um, way too much time here. Before we even started recording, we pretty much figured out how to build a time machine in Minecraft, and that's mm -hmm. it. <laughs> no. Back to the good old days. You ever wanted to play Minecraft like you've never played it again before? We have figured out the device. Yep. Only 99 diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> By now. 1-800. <laughs> well, today is April Fool's Day when we're recording, so... Yeah, but it's not not an April Fool's. Um, we have actually a different plan, and I think we came up with a pretty cool mini game idea, which we might have gotten ourselves into uh, over our head a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, with our current uh, resource management uh, situation, where we have no iron and stuff, um, might be a bit expensive. But yeah, should be cool. Do you have an arrow on you or two? Yes, here you go. Uh huh. So I could be, be the, that guy that shoots. Okay, so the idea is I'm gonna go up so we can demonstrate it a little bit better. Alright. So it, it is. is reveal it. Whack a mole. <laughs> Whack a mole with your bow. So, um, the idea is we have these cells here we came up with. Pretty compact, it does a lot of things for its size, we'll explain it a bit more in detail in a second. But the idea is, you pretty much are somewhere up and you have to shoot minecarts with a bow. Okay, now I successfully shot it and here it comes again. Wow, that came back very fast. Yeah, yeah. And you can only shoot it while, while it's up. I mean, while it's down you can't. I think we should position the player kind of to the side a little bit so yeah. you can't actually hit it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I don't know where it went, Doc. Oh, it's in the bottom. What? I might have hit the button too soon afterwards. Yeah. Or we something. Need, we need to work out some, some kinks. There we go. But, yeah, that's that's the cell. What it pretty much does is, yeah, it pops up the minecart here. Then we have a hopper minecart sitting right in here. You can see that we pushed it in. Right and inside the piston. Yeah, it's sitting in the piston here. And um, when the minecart gets broken, it obviously gets sucked out through the hoppers. And travels back here into that dropper elevator. Yeah. Hopper minecart picks it up, goes back into the droppers. Yep. And then up into the dispenser at the top. Yep. And then it can be triggered again, pretty much. Yeah. So now we have a randomizer back here. That would make the whole thing, as my yeah, name is programming, a bit more random. And we further developed the thing to this <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not compacted yet, but the system is there. So um, let's say I'm a clock. So uh, this this let's pretend this is the piston here. Yeah. That uh, pushes the minecart up. Ah, now it pushed it. So we got two randomizers, one that controls when it activates and one that controls how long it activates for. See? That's the, the long pulse. Yeah. And then we got a shorter pulse as well. Let's see if you can grab it. What's that, that was a long again. Yeah. Long. I only <laughs> get the long pulses. Of course, you're trying to demonstrate it, Doc. That's how yeah. it works. No, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. So, oh, that's the short one. Yeah. So this is the randomizer that controls the uh, pulse length. This is the one that controls if uh, there's when a it pulse. activates. Yeah. Yeah. If if it gets activated, because we're gonna have more than just one of these units. Ideally, we would like nine, if mm -hmm. we can afford it. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be expensive. We have to do a mining. 
mining trip to get uh, mainly iron that is our I uh, think we're short on at the moment and then the idea would be uh, pretty much you stand somewhere on top you have to figure out a good position and you have a certain amount of time and you would have to try to shoot as many mine cards as possible mm -hmm. in that time span and they'd be randomly popping up for random amounts of time and should be cool yep I and hope. we would have a counter um i don't know like do we want to set a certain goal let's say you have to reach this and this many hits and then fireworks pop off and you did it or would we have a score like thing i think we should i don't know <laughs> have a have a total time see how many you get in that time yeah i think that makes sense yeah. So I was trying to go all out, have a seven segment display there counting, but we are not sure if we want to do that because then it's going to go insane. Um, this mm -hmm. already a pretty complex thing to build. I mean, mm -hmm. it's not <laughs> it's not super complicated, but it is um, quite complex. Um, oh, oh, I'll sleep here. Oh yeah, it's still quite complex, so it's not not a simple thing. And yeah, we need. I think for each cell we counted, we need around twenty hoppers. So twenty hoppers. Oh, how much was it? No. No, it was like thirty-two iron total. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, iron. We counted iron. Thirty-two iron per cell. So if we want to do nine cells, yeah, four and a half math. stacks. Uh, that's not too crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's you wanna bad. you wanna try maybe think of a spot where we want to build it? Yeah, where would it? Hmm. You want to put it by the PvP game? Mm, it would be pretty big. Yeah. Relatively big. I mean, we need a space of, let's say, three to four blocks or something in between our individual cells. Then we need some space below to get all the randomizers crammed in there. Oh, that's we got something. a pretty big, pretty big flat spot over here, though. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. Yeah? Yep. I think this could be a pretty good spot. Yep, I'm down with that. Let's put it up to the hill too so that we don't waste any space. Mm -hmm. We could have a backboard or something, you know, with the name of the game. Like mm -hmm. Whack-A-Mole, blah, 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 so it looks cool. <laughs> Whack-A-Mole. <laughs> Am I saying it wrong? <laughs> no, no, that's right. Whack-A-Mole. <laughs> Whack-A-Mole, yeah. And then, yeah, you need to... We could even make it harder and you sit in the minecart while you have to shoot or something. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> more and more ideas. We should we should get started somewhere. I guess we have to go caving. We yeah. gotta go caving. We gotta build the interface for it too first mm -hmm. before we do the redstone stuff. Yeah. So you want uh, you want to go caving yeah. for a little bit? Let's go caving and talk about stuff. That should be fun too. Yeah, real caving, not speed mining. No, I have some good questions I want to ask you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we get prepared here, unload a bit, and we see you down in the mines. Alrighty, guys. We've been running around for a while. Can't find a cave when you need one. Nope. We did find a spawner over here, though. Yep. Zombie spawner. Is it rated? Oh, it wasn't rated. Nope. We need saddles. We just found like four house, houses, horses, <laughs> outside. Golden apple. Oh, name tag. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. Yeah. The rest we can Something's leave. Always good to take. Mm -hmm. All right. I uh, guess. It sounds like it sounds like there's another cave. Oh yeah. Or it could Somewhere. be. Could Down be the below, night time. Yeah. Oh, you think they might be on the surface? Yeah. No, there's a cave below here. I found it. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, it ends though. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> Why is it so hard to find a cave when you need one? No idea. Just randomly digging down now. So, we thought as we have to go caving anyways, we could do a little bit of talking about our favorite things and stuff. Mm -hmm. For example, games and other things we like. So I know you're a fan of uh, roguelike games, right? You've played them a lot. 
Uh, originally, I never played too many, but lately, yeah, they're they're really cool. What was the latest one you played? Um, I played Darkest Dungeons. Oh, all right. Lately, mm. uh, that was a pretty good game. It gets repetitive though. Mm. I saw you played some Factorio too on Steam. Yeah, Factorio is tons of fun. Did you yeah. try that one out? Yeah, I played it before, but um. Yeah, it's like, I wondered if I should play it on the YouTubes, but there's some games you just, you know, enjoy as a time killer on your mm -hmm. own and just, yeah, I don't know, like Stardew Valley or so, that caught me badly lately. <laughs> <laughs> Doc see? got extremely addicted yeah, to that. It's, it's your fault. He yeah, said it's such I, a I great game and yeah, and all. It is a great game. It's <laughs> you get it like harvest food from the mountains and yeah, get no. married and I never really looked into the social game man I was a total loner you didn't do that <laughs> no not at all man I was just like mining uh, I was just like get rich and then get out of here <laughs> okay there is I'm just gonna dig in a random direction now Let's see I think I hear lava down here but I'm not sure mm -hmm. yeah I definitely do I definitely do all right now we're getting that iron here anyways. It's happening. So yeah, Stardew Valley, I, I also quite uh, played quite a lot. That is, It is a good game, man. It's like one of these games where you think, what is it about it, this game that's so cool? But I guess, I don't know. It's very simple. I think people simple, like right? getting stuff in games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Did you ever manage to get one of these super crops? You know, no, I, I saw you could get like a 3x3 three three pumpkin or melon or something, right? Yeah, I think it, it works with m pumpkins, cauliflower, and a third crop, yeah. I don't know. For me, it was like as soon as I had the greenhouse, uh, stuff was settled. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, growing cranberries all year long. Getting rich. You, you set up the sprinklers though, so you can't get the three by threes because they go in yeah. the middle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some you you with the iridium sprinklers you could do it. I mean. Yeah, that's true. You can space it out a bit. It's not super efficient, but you could. But it's I think it's random. You know, it's like chances increase if the crops are the same quality. So if you use fertilizer and stuff, that definitely helps. Um, yeah, and then you, you need a bit of luck. Once a night there was a fairy showing up at my farm. and she I had that happen too. I don't know uh, what caused that. Yeah, she made she made mo um, pretty much all the crops grow instantly. Yeah, she gives you a free growth on yeah. the three, three area. Yeah, I think it's a random, random event too. But yeah, I love the fishing. I'm totally addicted with it. <laughs> <laughs> fishing was my thing. I never liked the fishing. That's the one thing I like never did. Yeah. Uh, if you get better in it, you know, if you get your proficiency up, um, mm -hmm. then then it's fun. Before it's really tedious. It's that's true. I mean, oh, lapis. Got to get that lapis. I'm going with my efficiency 5 pickaxe here and save touching everything. I mean, that works. Oh, that's cool. I don't think we're ever going to find a cave, Doc. No, man. It's like we've been going for a while, but we must hit one. There must be one, right? <laughs> Somewhere. It's impossible that there's I one. don't know. We will never find back anyways. We are somewhere out here. We went so far. We found the, the place where everybody is mining um, sand, though, I think. Yeah, the uh, sand quarry. There's like another portal set up to it. Yeah. Oh. I heard skeleton. Oh, okay. Might be good. I think it's above. Somewhere here. Let's see. So what what oh yeah, found the cave. Sweet. So what what game are you are you looking forward to? Anything on your list you definitely want to um, play? There's a, a new Terraria game coming out. Mm. I've been really looking forward to the Terraria Overworld. I think. Oh, all right. 
Yeah, but in Terraria, I never really got into. I don't know why. You never got into that, huh? No, but it's. No, you played it a lot. You had the LP with Sisto, I think, as well about it. Yeah, yeah, we've done it a few times. Yeah. Terraria it's actually. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> EZ. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's in my top ten favorite games, actually. Yeah, I I really like Terraria. Lately, I started Industry in Industry Giant Two again. Like it's a very old game. I don't know if I've heard of that one. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's one of those old school railroad tycoon like games. Oh, know? okay. You... I I love those those ones. Yeah, it's very old school. I was school. a big fan of like Roller Coaster Tycoon and. There, oh, there are a few good ones. Then you should look forward to Planet Coaster. Hey. Sorry. To <laughs> <laughs> I look behind. It's like, oh, there's a skeleton. Oh, no, it's just Doc. Being Doc. I have my bow on the on the, the quick slot there. So, yeah. Was that an arrow? Or? Yeah, yeah, you shot the head with an arrow. <laughs> I got the bow on the, on the off end, and it sometimes goes off unintentionally. So, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I played that, uh, but it's... I. Sometimes with those old games, you spend hours and hours and hours. You have better memories of it, like it actually is then. Yeah. You play yeah. It. You know, kind of like, like old TV shows. and. Yeah. You have a good memory of them, then you go back, and it's like, oh, uh, you know what? Compared to today's standards, mm -hmm. it seemed good at the time, though. Yeah. It's it's still fun, but it you know it's something you can casually play for, for an hour or two, and then move on mm -hmm. from it it's 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 too simple in the end and then on the other end also too clunky you know in our days you're used to games being having a really nice interface and building is mm -hmm. that's the thing like old games they had like most of them had really bad controls or really bad interfaces yeah yeah they well, just didn't have it figured out back then yeah creeper watch out Oh, Ooh, leg whoa. too. Leg! <laughs> Not like, you know, super bad, but in, in comparison to today's well, standards, you know, it's like, hmm, that's a bit clunky. Like, even Harvest Moon 64, like, I was a big Harvest Moon fan. Yeah. In order to, like, grab an item out of your bag, you had to press start and cycle through the menu and you had to do that a million times every time you loaded up the menu yeah. you'd have to wait like five seconds for it to load and <laughs> yeah bad design yeah i know i love this game i love that game too i loved a lot like n64 was still one of my favorite consoles ever like i remember back then when turok came out you know um, i never played that one yeah it, it was there was another cave wasn't there I don't know. It was it was such a revelation with that cool controller, you know, and the analog stick, because before, I mean, you had the PlayStation with the the PlayStation controller, and then you had joysticks. I need to get that bow off my. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> then you had like joysticks. Everybody used joysticks, which is also quite funny in comparison to today. Mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah, I've been playing computer games for too long, I guess. <laughs> well, you're a little bit older than me. You, yeah. uh, you, did you ever do like the Atari stuff? Were you yeah. into it back then? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh diamonds, you can't mine them, right? Yeah. I had a I had a C64 as well, and um, Atari Amiga, and um, yeah, Atari ST and the Commodore Amiga, mm -hmm. and yeah. Played it like crazy. I mean, joystick. Every joystick was the, sh the 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 thing back then. <laughs> I mean, nowadays, what do you play with a joystick? Maybe flight simulators, tops, nothing yeah. else. I mean, yeah. And I I also remember the times when you had uh, data sets. You know, the like the tape like things to load games, and it would take like literally twenty minutes to load a game. You know. And your computer be like <laughs> <laughs> making all these sounds, and it was like, <laughs> yeah, yep. that was the beginnings. But my mom always, you know, 
um, my, my parents had a divorce and my mom never had much money or so, but she always tried to do her best so I can have a computer to play with and because she just knew I was really interested in that stuff and um, yeah. Mm -hmm. My first personal computer PC I had when I was like 13 or so. It was okay. The f was the first one, and it was back then. It was MS DOS, obviously, <laughs> yeah. and everything was super crazy. If you wanted to install games, you had to write uh, certain batch files for it. You know, l load high certain thing. It was <laughs> PC gaming back then was really shitty compared to today, man. Oh uh, yeah, everything was complicated. And then there was these games like I don't know, Space Quest, King's Quest. Um, yeah, that was. Did games. you ever do the, um, the Keen games, Commander? Yeah, Keen? Commander Keen, of course, man. I mean, that was like the first real game I got into when yeah. I was younger. Yeah, I loved it. Commander Keen was cool. Nice game. Then, yeah, of course. Then there was the console times. I had the Nintendo Entertainment System. You know, with, like the old school Mario and. I don't know. I think Ice Climber was the game that came with it in Europe. It was oh, okay. a very simple platformer. And then I loved Nintendo Tennis. <laughs> I was a beast in that game, man. <laughs> tennis. Yeah. I think I've played that actually. It was so simple. It, it was. It was pretty decent. Yeah. Actually, it was. It was really good. I. I have good memories. I want to try that again. Maybe it's one of those games where you say, "Okay, it's actually not that bad." <laughs> Nowadays, I mean, yeah. Then. On the big competitor back then, um, for the for Mario was Gianna Sisters. Gianna Sisters. Yeah, that Gianna. was. <laughs> Gianna. I think it wasn't it Gianna or Gianna. Oh, uh, I think it's Gianna. All right. Hard G. Hard G. All right, everybody call it Gianna Sisters. Well, maybe, maybe I was Jeremy. wrong. No idea. Whoa. I love the music in the Gianna Sisters. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it was it was good. I spent a lot of time gaming, but I always also did a lot of sports, like on the side. It's like in the winter time, typically I would game more, but during the summer I pretty much spent most of my time somewhere outdoors, you know, running around in the woods or playing football or soccer, <laughs> how you would call it. I mean, that was... I tried to yeah. balance it out. I, I never... You know, in nowadays, nerd is a, a positive word, I would say, uh, because nerds rule the world. But back then, I didn't want to be one-sided, you know, just computer games all day long. and. Mm -hmm. like yeah, that. I used to, like, spend half my time outside and half playing games. Yeah, I mean, I guess um, it's your, your parents had that um, have, I mean, it's a flower and seed shop and stuff, right? And you had to, mm -hmm. had to work there always. Do you mm. still do it nowadays? Help no, out or? no, that's all closed down. Ah, okay. All right. But I started working when I was five. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I remember when you back then when I first started watching you like a few years ago. You started to tell the stories. And um, what is it like? What you said. Um, Everybody called it dirt, and you called it soil all the time. And <laughs> you once had this episode <laughs> where you... Where well, you it is soil. Dirt <laughs> dirt has no uh, enzymes and stuff in it, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't grow stuff in dirt. You yeah. got to grow it in soil. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know the actual difference. So do you do some gardening here as a, nowadays, like as a hobby or something? Do you like to no, grow I'm your own stuff? No, I've I've done enough for ten lifetimes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to grow your own your own things, you know, if you have fresh salad and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm. But I guess you guys were mainly about flowers and stuff, right? If I remember. We we did flowers, but we also did a lot of like vegetable plants and stuff. Oh, that's nice. That's cool. Oh, here's that cave. Seems to be a bit bigger, man. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. I loved it always. My oh, there's a mine shaft here too. My my grandparents um, was just you know the old generations for them. It was normal to have a small garden and mm -hmm. gr grow your own stuff. I mean, it was just a given. There was no everybody had it, and I grew up in a fairly small village. And 
think. It's yeah. it's kind of shocking, like the difference between home drone and like store bought oh, tomatoes or whatever. Yeah, like it's, it's, I just it, wanted it's, to say tomatoes. In tomatoes, for me, that is there. You see the biggest difference. The yeah, taste, I think so too, yeah. The taste is so different. <laughs> well, they have to pick them when they're green yeah. and ship them, and yeah, compared to a real fresh. Mm. Red yeah. tomatoes. Or cucumbers. Like With cucumbers it's also horrific. Like if you if you're used to the great taste of a, you know, really mm -hmm. nicely cared off to, yeah. Cucumber and like a mm. Oh there's a there's a mine shaft here, I think. Mm -hmm. Or peas. Peas are oh, yeah. quite different too. I think I always thought when I'm when I'm older and eventually have a house also i would love to have a small garden and just do you know just for my own needs a little mm. bit of veg vegetables that would be really great well just try a little bit one year and you know if it goes good you might make it bigger next year and yeah and kind of get used to it yeah i mean it's it's not easy you know you you need to know what you're doing Otherwise, mm -hmm. your crops will be <laughs> not that successful. And it's also a lot of work. It's not just like, hey, I'm going to have a little garden here. Uh, if you mm -hmm. if you do it right, you have to you you invest. Weeding. You know, oh, yeah. You have to invest some time. But I guess if you did it like you guys did, like on an industrial level, so to speak, or more on a production level, it's, oops, it's a different thing anyways. I mean. I always... Uh, wonder like if you grow it in the city if somebody would steal your f your food you know <laughs> sneak into your yard at night and ooh, fresh tomatoes i can't get these in the store <laughs> I, I hear stories of that happening all the time people steal your flower pots or whatever you have it happens i mean it even happened in my my grandma's village there you know i mean my my granddad was really good with um beans he was the bean oh. master, like a ton of beans growing always, and a lot of people loved them. And yeah, if you didn't pay attention, they was, they were gone. <laughs> beans. Uh, that was his thing, and potatoes. Obviously, that's a bit of a German thing. But he was, I don't know, he was proud of his potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a witch somewhere. There I used to hate potatoes a lot, but like lately. Oh, they're just so good. How do you how do how do you like him like uh, hash this is like a baked potato. Browns? Baked potato, yeah. Mm. With a nice steak, that's awesome. Mm. Yeah. Also, my my grandparents they used to have chickens, you know, their own chicken and stuff, and that's also something completely different than their their own I've eggs. Really, I've never really had like non grocery store meat before. Yeah. I mean, we didn't have pigs or stuff like that, but we had older leg. Like oh, farm, help, farm help, eggs. Help. Oh, oh. oh, man, you're off on your own, man. <laughs> oh, there's a skeleton Wall shooting Wall at me. Need Wall to run. Wall Need to run. I don't know where you are. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really wish I knew where you were now. Oh, God, it was a witch. Oh God! Did you see my name tag before you died? Mm -mm. I think I'm never gonna find back to you ever. Uh, Wait, give me your coordinates. I'm at minus ninety-one. Mm -hmm. Seventeen twenty. <laughs> I found your stuff. I found All your right. stuff. Maybe found you can chest. put it in a chest. Yeah. So, Ooh. yeah, that was. I got swarmed. There you could see the the. The problems a bit with 1.9, man. Like, that's good though. You should die in this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was, I got cornered there. They knocked me up good, and then which, dead. Okay, what was the coordinates again? So I guess I'll come over to you. And then we it's uh, minus minus a hundred. Okay. And seventeen hundred. Um, seventeen hundred. All right. All right, that's going to take a while. Well, we'll be back in a bit, guys. <laughs> yep. And I'm back. He made it back. 
Issa saved the day. Got ladders. All that stuff. Yeah. Ladders are the way to go, man. Yep. Whoa. Now you don't have a lot of armor on. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, I got this. <laughs> There's a lot of iron over here. How are you doing on your iron? Um, let me check. I got two and a half, three and a half stacks. Okay, okay, we're almost there. I think you have most of it. No. Yeah. We're getting, we're getting somewhere. That's all good. What did we need? Like, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh what? <laughs> oh, the leg. You juked me, man. You wow. Juked me. Um, okay. He's got some power bow on him, too. Uh, he's dead. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Man. Okay, I'm gonna try to save your stuff. Oh, God, there's another one back there. These skeletons these days, man. They don't know how to behave anymore. Alright, let's put that all in here. So, okay. So, yeah, this time we switch it around. <laughs> See you in a sec. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We're back here. Back from the cave-in. We got uh, about four or five stacks of iron. Yeah. All in all. It's cooking. I got a bit out of it already. So, two stacks here in my inventory. And now we pretty much want to lay out the playing field for our whack-a-mole game. Yep. Um, still trying to figure out the the shape of it here. Yeah. Maybe let's let's start them over here. Yeah. So we're gonna use acacia. Yeah. For the outline. And then we do this. Right around. Exactly. Yeah. I think yeah, that's that, that'll that be works. good. And then start the next one here. Is it is a two block cap? We might need to adjust this later. I'm not sure. Yeah. The acacia would go here, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna try to get the redstone to all fit in this little tiny space, but yeah, it is a pretty complicated thing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It'll it'll be interesting. That's for sure. Okay, we need to extend it here, our yellow outline by one. Yeah, yeah. Let's spread that out. Also, if uh, if we want, we could just try to do six first, and then if we want to make it a full nine. Yeah. Then then make it bigger. You know. Do we have the same up here in front? Yeah, we do. Okay. That works now. We got a nice present from Scar. I want to show you in a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it? I messed up here. Oh, did you? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. They were too close. Oh. Okay, we got to scoot one more back. Alright. Let's do it then. Let us know if you um, like these casual caving episodes in between where we talk about stuff. And if you do so, it um, would be nice if you, you know, send us some topics, some things you want to know, some things we could talk about. We, mm -hmm. have, we have no secrets. <laughs> Has Doc uh, ever worn women's underwear? He, what? <laughs> you, got, you got to ask those kind of... No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I haven't. I can answer that right away. This you don't want blast that. Oh no! Actually, once. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh snap! Uh, no. My girlfriend once um, bought uh, some underwear she wanted to wear. You know, it was a boxer short. Uh huh. And um, I liked it so much that I snagged it from her, kind of. <laughs> what hers or, or yours? Yeah, yeah. No, it was it was for her. Then I snagged that because I liked it so much. She's still angry about it, but um, after it washing it once, then it was didn't fit anymore. So yeah, now no, <laughs> now nobody wears it. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. But other than that, no, no women's underwear. <laughs> How did you come up with such a I'd... weird question, man? That's just that's the things people ask, though. Doc. <laughs> the dark side of Etho. 
Oh, man. Dark side of Reddit and oh, yeah. all, the, all the questionnaires. <laughs> the dark web. Alright. Oh, man, it's actually pretty big, man. Yeah, it seemed like it was small at first, and now it's like it grew somehow. I think mm -hmm. we measured wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. It's good. The more space, the better, so we can get the redstone in there nicely. Okay, let's get that. Alright, and yellow went here too, I think, right? Yeah. Don't need a too wide outline, though, I guess, here. I can go. Let's see. Well, we might need it just to hide stuff. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. I think it's, it'll turn, it's. That's nice. I think it look cool. We're trying to be creative with the limited colors we have. <laughs> Whatever's and in the, supplies. Uh, yeah. Whatever that is in the mountain there, if we can use anything else. Too much it, effort. <laughs> a lot of our builds are very earthly, you know, very. <laughs> Yeah. Mother Nature. Oh, uh, I can't go there, but here. Right. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, you ever three. see like those videos of people building houses out of uh, adobe bricks and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's like you just go to your backyard and yeah. you make bricks out of the sand and the clay and stuff in your soil. And yeah, that, that, there's this there's this one guy. Um, his channel is called. Primitive living, primitive survival. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. You know, that dude so from Australia, cool. I mean, he made everything. He, uh, he makes like a little shack. Yeah. And it's like he made shingles on it, and like, yep. yeah, it's pretty amazing. Lately, he showed a cool bow he made. It's pretty, pretty impressive. Love that stuff, man. Like, I can't wait until he releases a new video, and it's like, yes, finally. All right, that looks cool, though. Yeah, I almost feel like we did the colors reversed. <laughs> like the yellow should be where the red is, and the you think so? To highlight the, I don't know. Yeah, well, no, we don't have to yeah, be too big. You might be right, but I don't know. Maybe if you get some more wood in there, make a little bit of an outline or so, and then there will be a like a huge backdraft to it as well, where you pretty much like, like we try to write whack a mole on there or something. Mm -hmm. or show the scores and stuff too yeah it's really important whenever you do anything with redstone you lay out your um your interface for it first though yeah like get an idea of where where it's being built yeah and how you want it to look afterwards yeah, that, but that i think it it should work it should work it's yeah yeah that's the shape anyway yeah that's pretty cool why right, do you want to go check out our present sure I, we haven't really we just had a brief glimpse on it, but we didn't really check it out, so it's over there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Mm -hmm. I go away for five minutes and great things happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Making a coffee, you come back, you have diamond armor. That's how yeah. it's supposed to be, man. Doc M and Etho, hope this helps with the witch's scar. All right. We You're both died, I think, twice, or... And we got a it cat here now. Yeah, he always has cats. It's it's so annoying, and okay. then he leaves one behind. You're picking this on side. Your chest. Let's see, unbreaking yep. fire protection three. All right. The chest plate is protection three, unbreaking three. Okay, that's what I just got unbreaking three on it. Protection three for the leggings. And yeah, that's what I got. Fire protection for the shoes. I got unbreaking three, protection three on the shoes. Last protection, aqua affinity for the helmet. That's nice. Thank you, Scar. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated. Consider that you paid your entrance for the next year here on the park. <laughs> 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 Can get in for free. Oh, yeah, I did a little thing. Um, after I died the second time, I um, just easily grabbed all the resources and walked back, and I made this little pond in the meantime here. Um, down Under below. Under the stands? Yeah. Is that you... yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Just a little thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I think it's nice, you know, with the boat in there. Mm -hmm. Kind of boat racing, water, nature. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty well. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I guess we wrap it up for today. Um, 
it maybe maybe didn't look that much what we did, but uh, the planning beforehand took a long time. We were spending like two hours or so figuring out the yeah. redstone mechanics and stuff and talking about what we want to do and so on. So yeah, I think so for the next time we're gonna probably get this into place, right? Yep. Hopefully get something working where we can try it out. Yeah, that would be nice. For the whack-a-mole game. Yep. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I really want to say thank you. The like ratio on my last videos was insane. Like literally one dislike <laughs> on the last two episodes, which is That's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty amazing. I really want to say thank you for that. <laughs> and some people also picked up on when I said um, everybody's watching it on Ezo's channel. <laughs> like I had a lot of comments saying, "Don't worry, dog, <laughs> we got you." <laughs> I watch it twice. If it's for you, it's okay. <laughs> so that's it's really great. Uh, you guys are awesome. Oh yeah. Any case, see you soon. Hope you enjoyed. Bye guys. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Bye.